What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, some interesting new arrivals and just generally cool knives at E-Knives. If you guys have never checked out E-Knives, check out E-Knives. Uh, this is one of my favorite places to go in my rotation of retailers when I'm checking for new things or I'm anticipating something coming out, trying to get my hands on that cool new Microtech or whatever right this is one of those places that stocks a lot of those knives um and you can oftentimes find really really fun rare gems um also this is also one of the places i like to check for when i don't know what i'm looking for and i'm just looking for the next cool thing right if you're an, an itchy knife collector such as myself e-knives is a must so i will link this page that I'm looking at right now, right down in the description. So you guys can go and check this out for yourself if you want to. You don't have to sit here and listen to me talk. But if you do, if you do want to sit here and listen to me talk, well, I'm going to. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. They are an authorized retailer for Vero Engineering. So if there's a Vero you've been looking for and you haven't been able to find it, uh, you might check back here often. Uh, because I would venture to guess that they will be getting a lot more of Vero's work uh, right there on the front page. You can see. I like how this. Uh, I like how Enabs is sorted. It's been about a month and a half since we've looked through, uh, and I went through the first page last night on my own, and I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to stop. We'll make a make a video out of this because I want to see what's here. Let's just go to new for now and see what we've got here. Uh, there's going to be a lot of Microtechs here. They are definitely a big Microtech retailer, but they've got lots of other stuff as well. What is the Arbiter? Microtech Arbiter. Is this new? So they do pre-owned stuff. I've never even heard of this. Wow. USA made 10410. What is the steel? Hmm. Um what? <laughs> Is, this must be very new. What is it? Oh, does it say right there? Can we see? Can we blow this picture up? I can't. S30. I can't read it. I don't know. I can't. Uh, can I blow the page up? Well, oh. Oh, there we go. M390. <laughs> okay. I don't know that M390 is the right steel for that. But, you know, all right. Uh, if you want it, there it is. Uh, we got a whole bunch of these Microtech, Ultratech, Dead Man's Hand variants, like the, the where it's like a, a couple, right? It's like a, a, there's like two of them, they match. We got the, the Hellhound Razor, a bunch of those sitting around. I have one in the combat. In fact, E Knives is where I got my combat trode on, uh, in uh, with the, with the Razor uh, style blade. Uh, Brachials, two-tone Brachial right there. That's pretty cool. I think this is an E-Knives exclusive. This is a cool, look at this. That's a really cool exclusive. Uh, yeah, it's expensive, but we have the copper Cerakote hardware button, pocket clip, and breaker. You have the tri-grip texturing, which is really cool, and I wish they would just do those on all the Microtechs, but then they couldn't justify the special, <laughs> the special price, right? And then you have the Spartan uh dagger grind which is really cool um i don't know that a lot of people know that they that e knives does these special exclusives so if you're looking for something weird or something different uh then there you go i'm still tempted by the by this fixed blade i wish that it was a little bit longer but i am very tempted by it did a video a while back actually courtesy of e knives they sent me a sample to take a look at I had to send it back but i do like it i just wish that it was a little bit longer you know all right, Stroop knives, custom. To, I don't know anything about Stroop knives. Look like interesting fixed blades. Sabenza, they definitely do uh, carry Chris Reeve knives for sure. That one's actually pre-owned. Uh, sometimes, you know, th that's that's the thing. This this site plays host to a secondary market, right? And anybody who is bothered by secondary market prices on knives. Like, I get it, it's a little frustrating, but if you think that this is a new thing, you have not been around for very long. Let me tell you, if you really wanna ruffle your own feathers, if you really wanna dump some spaghetti sauce in your pants, go over to Arizona Custom Knives, right? If you wanna pick up pieces of your brain off the ground, right, from the explosion of confused rage, 
<laughs> based on secondary market prices, go to Arizona Custom Knives and have yourself a little party. Um, yeah, it is it is what it is, right? And here's the thing. I'm really glad the secondary knife market exists. While I don't agree with the pricing 99.999% of the time, I'd be lying if I said that a few times I hadn't found something incredibly rare, hopelessly rare, and overpaid a little bit for it, but am happy that I have it in my collection. In fact, I just did it the other day, and I'll share that with you guys down the road, right? Uh, the uh, S30V full-size sheep's foot griptilian is here, which is still one of the best one of the better USA made buys out there, especially if you're gonna customize the knife. They still make the Infidel. I am just blown away that they still make the Infidel. Um, I think the Direct Delta is a way better knife. Uh, the McNeese PM Mach 2 Automatic in Magna Cut. This is, it says 3.25. Is this the full size one? Surely. Let's take a look here. Let me take a look at the specs here. I gotta remember to take to to look at reviews when they when they do have them, so because those are always funny. Uh, Seven point five inches. That feels like it's kind of in between. It's not the smaller one, right? Maybe that's just the full the size of the full size one. I just can't remember. Moving on here. Uh, Direct OTF. They have. Um, if you want to pay. Three thousand dollars. There, my. That's a custom. It's a custom, right? And I mean, that being said, that's. <laughs> I think that's way too much, right? But that's the that's the magic of this, right? As soon as I personally have determined, it's just for me that I would not spend that much. I can simply move on, right? I don't have to get mad that this exists. I think people spend way too much time being mad, you know. At a, at a price tag. Uh, and I mean, this one is going to make people mad because everybody wants the new stitch with the ram lock and they dropped a bunch of them on Microtech gear and Microtech's making more, right? And so when we see things like this that are available and you see that they're $3,450, the fact that it is a custom goes out the window and people are just, I want it, but I'm being blocked by this, by this price tag. And so now I'm going to dump all my frustrations on the price tag. Um, I don't know that that's a justified price tag, but you know, even even considering it, I think it says two tone stone wash. These are the ones that are halfway production. Obviously, they're not entirely handmade, but there's a lot more hand elements in it, um, and it's a and it's a prototype as well. So, oh wait, yeah, no, it's a custom and a prototype. Yeah, okay. So yeah, and realistically, it's probably, I, I don't know, you know, maybe a $1,500 knife or something like that, and there there is an enormous amount of markup in it. Um, but that's just one of those things where I just look at it and go, okay, well, that's too much for me. Um, they still have these. Uh, so these, uh, these are actually sold out in a lot of places. The Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall, like the seasonal editions. So we've got the Stealth. The um, Nautilus, the Safety First, or the Safety Orange, uh, and then the Overlander. Um, I received one of each of these from Tactile, you know, and, and you know, was told, like, yeah, if you want to do giveaways, which I'm absolutely going to do. In fact, I already gave away this one. But these are sold out in a lot of places. And if you, you know, have decided, like, oh, I'd really like a stealth one, but they're sold out everywhere, right? I don't think they're sold out everywhere, but in a lot of places, they have them here. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. I like those. All right, moving on here. Wow, custom Warhound. I haven't seen one of those for a while. Actually, I think these have popped up in a bunch of different places. What is this? Is is Medford finally starting to do diamond texturing? Yeah. <laughs> My God. Uh, why has this not been a thing? Well, why why is this just now a thing? Oh my God, it looks so much better. <laughs> there are so many Medford models where I'm like, great, but it's just this big open flat canvas of titanium and there's just nothing going on. And I like the pattern. I like the anno that they do periodically, but it's like, you know, texture it. I got to hit back because it won't let me escape this, um, this image now. 
There we go. But yeah, that looks great. Did they do it on both sides? Nope. But the pocket clip is. Okay, that's fine. Did it hinderer style. Proxima's not a bad looking knife. Not at all. What do we got for the steel? It's probably S35. S45 again. Hmm. Not a bad knife. That's a that's a lot bigger than I thought it would have been, too. Uh 8.75 inches. Huh. Yeah. Pretty neat. Uh, I like the texturing that uh, we've got there, right? But some of these where it's just like flat, meh, you know, bunch of different Medfords, bunch of them. Benchmade Autocrats, uh, not a bad OTF, not bad. Expensive, but you know, what isn't? That's USA, what's happening? <laughs> Anything that's made in the USA, right? Prices are just going up and up and up. Now, see, here's one that's going to make a little bit more sense, right? This is prototype, custom, MSI, and mirror polished, and carbon fiber. Still really, really high. I mean, but Microtech customs are expensive. Like, the sooner that you accept that, the sooner it's going to... Here's the thing. Here's what I remind myself. Uh, I remember years ago where I was like, wow. Marfion custom knives seem ridiculously overpriced. I think, uh, you know, I've seen other people complain about this. I think what I should do is jump in and let my voice be heard so that, you know, maybe we can get them to, um, you know, come down to more realistic price tags. Well, that didn't happen. Uh, in fact, the opposite happened. <laughs> Demand dramatically increased and so did the price tags, right? So... Uh, and I'm not saying, you know, that we there's we, we just don't have the power to change anything. But what all you can do, right? I look at that stuff and I'm like, I'd love to own that. I'd love to own that for much less than what they're asking. But I don't I, I'm I'm being told no with this. So all I can do is go, well, okay, you know, and you just move on. Because the louder we get <laughs> about stuff like this, the it, the 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 bigger the opposite effect, right? It's just, uh, it's just a, the, it, what happens, you know? Um, so, you know, if I ever, if, if by some magic, ooh, he's, I, see these, these are awesome. Um, initially, I got, we gotta talk about this in a sec, but to, to finish off what I was saying, um, if, if the day comes where the demand for Microtech custom knives just falls down through the floor uh, and the prices come down, then I, I'll be more than happy to pick one up, you know? But as it sits, I just don't feel like putting the energy in, <laughs> yelling and complaining about it. It just seems like a waste of time. These uh, Rip custom knives, uh, the, the Russo, I had a talk with him. And the more I looked at his knives, the more I was attracted to them. And I realized that they have a very stridery aesthetic. And he openly, you know, told me, he said, oh, yeah, strider knives are absolutely, strider designs are absolutely influential in my designs. Um, he, now, he has some of his own lines there for sure. But, yeah, uh, I, I think a, a lot of the inspiration here was um, was from strider knives. And I don't, I don't see that there's a problem with that, considering that these are not direct copies. It's still absolutely his own thing. Um, I am very much interested in these. It's a lot of money, but these are custom knives, right? Um, I, uh, if I see in this is a mini, a Fury mini, um, not a terrible price for a custom knife, right? Especially compared to the Strider next to it <laughs> for $4,800. Um, the, the people who are actually looking to buy these customs, right? If you're looking for them, they are here. Um, these are also interesting. The hog house knives model T I was supposed to be getting one of these. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, I, I would be interested in picking one of those up, um, at some point. I just need to find the, the right one. I don't know anything about, oh, this is DDR. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I've never heard of that model. Looks okay. More Microtex. They have a sure grow off here. Is this pre-owned? 2023 CCKS exclusive. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I don't know that I want to pay $2,300 for it, right? Um, 
only 50 made. Okay, these are these are for collectors, right? This is the, a collector is going to pay that price tag, right? If you're somebody who wants to buy a show graph to use it, then this is not being marketed towards you. Um, I would, uh, you know, you want to you want to find a basic regular production non limited run version of a show graph to take out and use unless you really, really want to use this one, in which case, this is the price tag you're gonna have to deal with, right? Uh, these are s 90 V. Cool. Okay. Another one that's neat, but not one that I want to pay that much money for. Uh, moving on, moving on. It's a nice looking fixed blade. The Bastinelli Volwest Binome. It's just not, it's not a name that I'm going to remember because it just doesn't. Volwest Binome. I, <laughs> why is it named that? Okay. I mean, I'm not going to get upset about it. <laughs> Seven. Oh, boy. You're going to see a wide variety of stuff here for sure. Sometimes this stuff is just fun to go and look at, right? I mean, a $6,950 knife is one that is fun for me to look at and then move on, right? LUDT Custom, bunch of Medfords, bunch of different Medfords. Pre-owned, uh, Rotten Evo 3.0. Look at that. Boy, that is a cool looking fixed blade. See, and whether or not this is overpriced, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea, but I never even knew this existed. That is a cool looking fixed blade. Oh man, that is awesome. <laughs> Look at the file work on the uh, guard there. It comes with a sheath. Oh man. Oh, it's on the spine too. Gorgeous. 154 CM. Oh. Wow. I like it. Okay, moving on here. UTX 85 Urban Camo. God dang. 1986 Buckmaster 184 Custom. Wow. That is intense. Uh, the Hex Pattern Rockwall. You can still get those. I think that is... Yeah, that's an E-Knives exclusive. That's really cool. I think we talked about this one the last time we were here. If you didn't know they make these, they do. Made in the USA. Pretty cool. Go back down to where I was. There we go. Robert Carter. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. God, I, I, I handled one of those on this channel, and uh, it's really cool. I just, you know, I'm not ready to spend that much money. It's, it's not that that price tag bothers me because I don't think the knife's worth it. I, I don't really know, right? But it, it's just like me personally, I'm just not ready to spend that much on a pocket knife. I've gotten up there to, to about three, but, oh, that's really hard for me to do. Uh, here's some Varos, a couple of Varos. Chris Reeves, small Sabenza. We got some weird Microtech push daggers. Let's read the let's read the five star review on this. I want to know. Like what? Oh, we got two reviews. This isn't a review. Uh, posted by Hunter Woods on March twenty first of twenty twenty two. Microtech Bastinelli Bastinelli Double B. Push Dagger Knives Black G10 2.5 inch bead blast serrated. And then he puts the model number. You're just saying what it is. <laughs> Five star. Here it is. Worth the wait. I'm so glad I didn't give up my search for one of these. Everywhere I looked, the single Bs were sold out. I happened to stumble across these guys, and lo and behold, they had the double set in stock. I didn't even hesitate. I had to have them. First off, amazingly fast shipping and packaging. Customer service top-notch. These knives were a little smaller than I thought, but it makes for great appendix carry. And I have two in... And having two in small carry package? Typical typical quality for Microtech. Microtech. I don't know why I can't read today. If you see this for sale, don't wait. Buy it. Okay. Um, all right. It's up. As reviews go, that's pretty... You know, he was looking for it and he found it. <laughs> There's a, a whole story to that one. Um, alrighty. I want to read the ones, I want to read the silly reviews. You know, the wacky, the wacky, goofy, you know. 
It's it was written by somebody who doesn't understand the purpose of the system, right? The one where the guy tried to get back at the other guy by leaving a one-star review and then just saying that it was him saying how he felt about the other guy's comment. <laughs> those are my favorites, man. Oh, those are my favorite kind of weirdos. Okay. Let's read. Here, we got a four-star review. I'll take what I can get right now. I want to know. Microtech Dirac OTF, four-star review. It's a signature series. Looks great. The action is really nice. The finish is fantastic. I just assumed it'd be closer to the size of the UTX-85. It's not. It's very noticeably smaller. Not quite UTX-70 small, but definitely between the 70 and 85. I will go with the Delta next time. I only gave four stars because it's size versus the price. Even given that it's a signature series, it's a little too much money for its size. This, there's so much wrong with this. I'm going to review this review, Joshua Abernathy, on February 24th of 2023, which was just a few days ago. I'm going to review your review. First off, let me tell you what's wrong with this. Okay. Um, the uh, We got to go back here to the description. Uh, so in the title of this, it says three inches, right? And then in the specs, it says 7.25 inches, right? So you can't look at that and go, I expect it to be larger than 7.25 inches. That's, you just didn't read this. <laughs> you, you didn't do that. Also, you, you bought this for this money. And you said that it's not worth that money because it's too, smaller than what you expected. Um, I mean, I get that that happens, right? But it's not like e-knives, you gave it an unfair review, right? You expected it to be something that it factually wasn't and the information about what it was and was not was laid out for you to read before you left the review. No. So I, you know, I, I'm tempted to give this, I'm, I would, let me tell you how I would rate this review as, you know, something you could use to determine whether or not you want the product. I would give this review two stars, not the knife itself. I'm saying if I was rating this reviewer, I would give him two stars. Uh, there's, uh, there's enough information to get the point across here, what he was bothered by, right? And then a little bit like it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit high priced. I kind of get that because of the signature series thing, right? I just don't think that, that's, that the point here was executed properly. Um, and then the rest of it was just nonsense. The rest of it was his fault. So Joshua, I give you two stars as a uh, reviewer. <laughs> I should just do this. This is way more fun. Hold on. Then people are going to start reviewing my ability to review other reviews. <laughs> Let me find another one. Let me find another one. Guardian Tactical Recon 35. Somebody had a problem with this? Huh? I'll be the judge of that. Hold on here. Four reviews. Yeah, all of these are good. We got one. Gar uh, <laughs> okay. We got five five-star reviews. Love this coming to Def Bye. I love the personal note sent when you get your order. Yep, absolutely. That's typical e knives. I started the fresh OTF game, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I got my uh, took my socks off and dipped my toes only to have a major knife gasm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's great. The fit and finish is very nice. Now that I'm thinking I'm just ready to dive in. I want something, yeah, dip your toes in before it's too late. This, these are all great. Recon 35, superb action when compared to the industry standard. Quality is top notch. First purchase from Enives won't be the last. These are all good and very helpful. This one says bad. I'm still waiting for the delivery. I want an update. Uh, did you get your knife? Did you get it? If you if you did, then this then why is this still here? If you didn't get it, I want to know, right? I mean, I feel like we only have part of the story here. Uh, I would also give this review this reviewer a one star. It's unfortunate if they had to wait for a long time, but we don't have all the context, right? Where do you live? Do you live in an area that makes it difficult for them to ship it to you, right? Based on laws, because those are whether or not we like it, those are in place, right? Did you give the wrong shipping information? Did they punch your shipping information in incorrectly, right? Did it get did it go back? Did you cancel the order, right? We don't know. 
So this isn't helpful. When people, when you leave stuff like this, when, when I look down here, this is what I see. I see information that is inconclusive and just not helpful. This person believes that this is somehow either it, like maybe they're being vindictive and wanting to make an impact on the company, right? Or maybe they're delusional and they think that this actually helps people. This doesn't help anybody. This is a one star. I give that guy a one star. That's a that's poo poo town review. No, not helpful. Use your brain. Give more information. Context is very important. When if you're gonna leave a message, right? If you're gonna leave a review on this stuff, right? It's not even about the knife. They're just reviewing like their frustration with waiting for the knife to arrive. It's not helpful, right? People are wanting information on the knife before they buy it. That's what they're looking for. Keep going here. I want to see if I find a knife I'm interested in, but now I'm really, now I'm just interested in like reading reviews. It's amazing to me how, um, how much this system goes over people's heads, <laughs> like their, their ability to just like be a functioning human being. It just doesn't happen reading reviews on products in general right like short little like nah, you know <laughs> just some wet fart of a thought from somebody who's just in the moment frustrated steel flame 3d darkness warrior that's a torch clip and yeah you know people they're gonna a whole bunch of people i'm 550 dollars for grabbing man wait till you see what they wait till you see what they go for after they've been gone for a while right that's nothing um, come on now. I'm looking for, you know, the, the ones that are the most interesting are the ones that are like, that has an average of three stars. It's very rare that it's the knife. It's usually something, something weird happened. <laughs> Those are the ones I'm looking for. There's just not a lot of reviews on a lot of this stuff, right? So, dang. Really, the 0562 has a perfect five star. I, that's amazing. I just, you know, usually in knives that are super duper popular, there's just a, you know, uh, there's enough people ordering them and having various experiences with this or that, that there's something, something in there that they complain about. Well, I don't know. We're gonna, we got, we got too many people are having too good of an experience with e-knives. <laughs> <laughs> too good of a, an experience with the knives that they're ordering here. There's not, a, there's nothing juicy. Uh, I don't know that there's really a whole lot more that we need to do here. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. Include there's a textured eclipse scale right there. I just realized. So yeah, take some time to come over here. Like I said, I'll link the new arrivals page for eKnives down in the description so you guys can take a look at all this stuff if you want to. Maybe I, maybe I, you know, went over something too quickly or missed something entirely that you wanted to know about. Uh, the page ordering will be exactly the same, so you should be able to find it just fine. But uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it today. Thanks so much for staying and hanging out and, you know, listen to me uh, be a weirdo. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.